Uh, hello. Uh, I just came back from watching um, Legally Blonde the Musical. Um, and it was such a great night, like really, really cool. And um, like it just got better and better as the night went on. Um, so basically, uh, I wasn't planning on going out to the Legally Blonde. Like I would never have thought to go on, to go see it. Um, but I'm so glad I did because what happened was my sister's friend um, had bought tickets to see it, but then she had something else on at the same time, so she couldn't make it. So they had two spare tickets, and so um, Lisa said, "Do you want to go?" to see Legally Born the Musical and I, I mean I didn't think I would want to go but then I thought um, it'll be interesting because it'll be different something different and um, it might be fun to do it so I said yeah I'll go and so um, yeah I f even I found out what the tickets were like they were 150 for these VIP tickets and um, I was like because I'm trying to save money at the moment but I was thinking oh to hell with it just just go and it, you know, it'll be interesting and you know it'll be something different so uh, but in the end, my sister ended up, she, she wouldn't take the money, she just um, shouted me the tickets anyway, which was really nice. But um, yeah, I think about a week ago, um, we found out that, I found out the details for the thing, because um, the tickets were part of the VIP package or something like that, so we got to sit like um, pretty close to the front, like I think it was, I don't know, row H or something like that, I'm not sure, but it was f fairly close to the front. And also, uh, the, the exciting part for me was we got complimentary cupcakes. Like, when I read on the, the, the message that we were going to get um, complimentary cupcakes, that was, like, the thing that I locked onto the most. I was like, oh, so cool. I don't know why. I just found that really exciting. Like, the whole time thinking about it, the whole musical, I was thinking, can't wait to get this cupcake and get a free cupcake. Uh, I don't know why, but I love cupcakes. They're just, like, happy food, you know? They're just... When, when I eat them, they're, like, yum. Especially the icing on the top. Anyways, um... Yeah, today, so we went and, um... Like, we are actually getting there and we are running, like, really tight on schedule to, to get there on time. Like, um, we left ha house a little bit, kind of, like, close to the time. And um, in my head, I was thinking, so long as we get the cup... In my head, I was thinking, so long as we get the cupcake, I'll be happy to get the cupcake and then get inside. And, what it, like, whatever happens with the musical, that'd be great. But I want this cupcake. And so um, when we got there, um, like, we went to the ticket office and all these people. And every person that we bumped into, I was like, um where do we get our cupcakes? And they're like, oh, we don't know. But eventually um, we came across one person who knew that they were like working at this like place with the drinks and stuff. And like they gave us our complimentary cupcakes. And once I had them, um, I was like happy. Once I had the cupcakes, I was like, yeah, it was good. I don't know. Um, so I've got a picture of it even. I was so excited when I get, got the cupcake. Um, so here's the picture. So they gave us like a, a guidebook. And also, there's the two cupcakes. It was it was yummy too. It was yummy. So this is that guidebook that we got. Cool, shiny, glossy, and see, that's a spoiler for later. We got signatures. Anyways, the stuff inside. It's really cool. Um, and then so we got inside, and the musical was fantastic. Like it, it really exceeded my expectations of how good it was. It was so fun. The music was good. Um, it was really creative, like what they did with the story. Like I won't say much of ah, oh, yeah, I was so creative, like what they did with the story and how fun they made it. It was just a joy to watch, really. Um, and what was really exciting is um, like when we went in there, there was like a technical difficulty. Like so, once we got inside, the show waited for like ten minutes or something, and um, I was looking through the guidebook and then I saw the name of the star who was starring in it and it was Lucy Durack and she's my favourite um, actress in Australian theatre and stuff because um, I saw Wicked a few years ago and I loved it and she was Glinda in that uh, and um, I loved it she was great and um, I, I, I watched watching YouTube videos of her and how like um, she got prepared for the role and it was so cool so she I, I really like her and um, when I found out she was in this I was like, oh, awesome, that was a bonus, and um, so that was really cool, and she was great in it, it was really good, and her character was really fun, and it was like, because um, I like Wicked, and it was like getting to see um, the character of Glinda as the star and being in the whole show, in a way, so it was really good. Um, yeah, the show was so fantastic, it was really fun, um, yeah, I really, really liked it. Uh, 
yeah, I won't say too much more about it in case people haven't seen it yet. But then, um, so we're coming out of the show and we're like buzzing, like how awesome it was. And then what happened was we're walking towards our car and there was this crowd of people, massive crowd of people, um, blocking the footpath. And I was thinking about like going around or whatever and we're trying to make our way through. And then, um, then my sister and Lynn were like, looking at the crowd of people and then they told me oh the stars coming out and I was like oh wow cool and I saw like one of the, some of the stars come out and they were signing the books and stuff and suddenly um like oh we should we should like you know what's the rush we should um get the book signed or something and, and in my head I was like if Lucy Dirac comes out I want a photo with her like really want a photo with her just just to capture the moment of you know for one moment just being you know in the um sharing a moment with this person that I admire, um, so, yeah, and we're waiting, and I got a signature with, um, one of the stars, um, I think, um, Brooke, it was Brooke, and then Rob Mills came out, he's, um, he played, I forgot what his character's name is, but, he, Wesley, was it, the one that, um, yeah, he, he was, Rob Mills, he was from Australian Idol and he's pretty popular and when he came out my sister was so excited and then she got a photo with him so it was cool like I'll show you the photo it's pretty cool wait so if you can see that oh wait, I'll show you a better one there you go yeah so she got a photo with Rob Mills so it was pretty surreal like it's like you hear about these famous people and um yeah like Rob Mills and stuff, and, uh, and then my sister did a photo with him. It's so cool. And um, so then we were thinking um, about going home, but then in my head I was thinking, oh, I wonder if Lucy is going to come out and stuff. So I kind of wanted to hang around a little bit. And then, um, so uh, Lynn, who lives close by, she said, um, she's going to walk home and you guys should just stay and hang around and see if uh, Lucy comes out. So we'll, we hung around, and then Lucy came out. I was like, oh, we should... Um, definitely want a photo with her. I really want a photo with her. And, um, and so it was good. So we waited for like, um, she was signing all these autographs with these kids and stuff. And it was good because it wasn't like some places you go to get autographs. It's like so packed that it's just, you'll never get a chance almost. Like it would just take so long. But here it's like once the crowd finished, like it was, there was a chance to get it. So once it was open, I just go, oh, can I get a photo with you? And yay. And I got a photo with her. Lucy Dirac. So it was cool. So that's me with Lucy Dirac. Whoops. So a real photo, not even photoshopped. Oh, it was cool. And I got to tell her, uh, I said to her, um, you were awesome in Wicked. And she's like, thanks. <laughs> so like, I like meeting these people I like and just telling them thanks for um, like how good they are for what they, you know, and hopefully, you know, they get, they realize from, from that sentence, like, what their performance and their hard work means to the fans and stuff. Because, like, I know um, one really cool thing, I um, was watching interviews with Lucy Dirac when she was um, being Glinda for Wicked, and she she was, like, really focused on doing a really good performance. Like, like she would just stay in her... At the start of the run of the show, she would just stay in her room and not do anything else and just kind of focus on being Glinda and stuff. Like, I found that such, such dedication and stuff really cool. Um, and she's just great. I really like it. It's funny. Like, you know how in different cities they have different people acting as Glinda? Or all the roles, obviously, in all musicals. Like, they'll be like, you know, in America, there's this person that does it. And then when they're finished, there's another person does it. And because when I saw Wicked, Glin uh, Lucy Dirac was the Glinda that I saw. And so it's funny, like, when I listen to on YouTube or other songs of other people, actresses performing Glinda, it sounds different, you know what I mean? It And it's like, to me, it's like, wait a minute, that's not the Glinda that I watched, you know? So, for me, Lucy Dirac is the Glinda that I like, that I watched, like, from Wicked End. Other Glindas are just other people, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure, like, the people who saw the other people, that's their Glinda. It's, it's, yeah, so... No matter how good other people might be seeing, I don't know, but my favourite is um, Lucy Dirac, and so she, I've really liked her a lot. I'm, I've been a big fan, like when she sang at the AFL Grand Final with um the, the girl who played Alphaba, 
I thought that was really cool and all sorts of yeah so every time I see Lucy Dirac on anything I'm like yes she's cool and to actually get to um, meet her and have a photo with her so it's n I straight away once um, we were driving home I put up as my Facebook profile picture it's like hey that's so cool um, but yeah it's great so um, that was it that was such a fun night and um, yeah like that was just a bonus a really good bonus to um, getting to like meet them that was fun uh, surreal like it's hard to believe it actually happened but it was fun and another really cool thing was um, on the way in like uh, my sister was driving in and um, I put on um, some music and I'll, I put on because I, I wanted to listen and I wanted my sister to hear the song um, that I've been liking a lot recently which was um, Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey which is from the Great Gatsby soundtrack so on my iPhone I plugged it into her um, car and we were listening to that song and then uh, she said is the movie good and I was like oh it's good if you um, read the book especially because then you understand what's going on and then she goes oh so can you tell me what the story is and then so I explained to her the storyline and I was explaining to her what happened in the storyline and um, so she kind of gets the story and then she likes it and she's going to go watch it and uh, she really got into the song and we were just ha we had the song on repeat it's such a great song and it was fun like driving in with that song on repeat and driving back home with that song on it was a really good night just in general and there's cupcakes yay cupcakes uh, it, was, it was a good night uh, got to eat ice cream like um, choc tops I love choc tops uh, yeah <laughs> it was a really good night just a, a fun fun night that musical was great I'm so impressed with what they did with that musical this musical like, it was just pure fun and very creative and stuff, and, yeah, um, there was that one character in it, the UPS postal worker guy, Kyle, he was really good, he was really funny, everything he did, <laughs> it was just hilarious, um, so, if you wanna, I first wanna say, um, if you wanna something, if you think you might like it and you want a fun musical to watch, um, I recommend it, it was a good time. It's funny because, um, some of the musicals I like, like, um, Les Miserables and stuff, they're, they're, they're great, I love them, but they're not happy, like, you know what I mean, like, um, they're like drama and stuff, so it's really unusual to watch a musical where it's like fun and happy and stuff the whole way through, almost, not whole way through, but it's just, it's nice change, it's different, it's good. Um, what I like about this storyline in this Legally Blonde is there's actually a really good message behind it, and, um, you know, really good messages behind it, like, Girls shouldn't um, tear each other down. They should stick up for each other. Things like um, don't try to change yourself for someone else. Oh, it's just such good. Like uh, underneath the core of it, there's a really good message and good storyline and a lot of heart and stuff. So, and on top of that, there's the funness of it. So it's just fantastic. Can't say enough good things about it. So um, yeah. So I think I think I've said enough. But such a great night, and I'm glad I've got some photos to just kind of cherish to remind myself how good it was. And that's that.